Hi, this is Sarah Levin, the Artful Inker. I'm an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator, and today I'm going to share this Thinking of You with a Blended Background uh, card with you. So let me set it aside, and we'll get to the creating. For the background, I'm going to start with a piece of Whisper White, and I've got scrap paper here, and I've got my Just Jade ink pad, and a wedge of one of the stamping sponges and we're just going to start and blend on a background. Now I have cut this uh, piece of Whisper White to a quarter piece of cardstock rather than uh, the size that I'm going to use on the card front. I'll cut it down later because as you can see as I blend on I get this um, dark edge on my cardstock, so I'm going to cut that away and we'll end up with just a uh, soft bit of color along the edge instead of this dark border here. And you're going to blend on in circles and tap off on your uh, piece of scrap here so that you minimize the chance of getting um, the spongy textured um, in your blending. And we're almost through with this darkest just trying to decide how far up the card we want to come. Okay, now let's set this aside. I may come back in with this in a moment. That's always the thing with blending on um, ink. You can come back in and so now I've got the mint macaron and I'm going to start at this upper corner and blend right across um, this area where I stopped with the Just Jade. And let's turn this a little bit. this again. Don't want to get too heavy in one area. Okay. And we're going to finish lighter up here in this or down here in this corner. It's going to be the up here corner, but so after tapping we want to run off a good deal of the ink on this piece of scrap. Okay, I want to bring this Just Jade up a little further. So let me open that ink pad again.
and just blending these two colors together. And then coming back in with a little bit of the the mint macaron. And one more pass with the Just Jade. Okay, and there is our background piece. So we'll set that aside and work on our leaves. And for the base of the leaves, I've got a piece of the Fluid 100 um, water paper, and I'm going to spritz it lightly with a little water using my Stampin' Spritzer. So I'm going to take this off camera so I don't get my work area wet. Give me just a moment. Okay, there's just a little bit of water on there. And I'm going to start with some Mary Merlot and my water painter here. Let's get that, squeeze it and get it wet. Not quite. Give it another squeeze or two. Just waiting for it to drip down into my brush. There we go. Not quite. I see it moving, but... Okay, we're going to pick up some of this Mary Merlot ink over here and just randomly brush some on. You can come back and deepen colors after they have uh, dried a little bit. So we're going to set the Mary Merlot aside. And I want to brush in some Cajun Craze. And you can use Squeeze your water painter so that um, you can blend the color. And then I'm going to add in some terracotta tile. Let me just brush out my brush down here on this scrap paper. Okay, and then pick up some of this terracotta tile. And you know, leaves have varying colors on them. And that's all we're doing is building lots of little leaf backgrounds here. Okay, brush this one out. And then I've got a little bit of the cinnamon cider that we're going to use. Going to squeeze that and get that to move a little more. We don't want dark brown, we just want some brown tones in here. And same thing, going to squeeze this and get that to bleed a little bit. And then let's brush this out again. I've got some bumblebee. I know my leaves around here often have a little yellow tone in them. And as you can see, this is just very randomized so that when we're ready to do the leaves, we've got lots of interesting color pattern to work with. 
and then I also usually have some green left in my leaves here even when some of them fall so we're going to add just some light little spots of green here okay now I'm going to let this dry and I will likely come back in and add more Mary Merlot there as that looks more pink than red and I would like more of the red tone so I'll be back once this is ready now to stamp our leaves I'm going to be using leaves from rooted in nature and loyal leaves and I'm going to start with Mary Merlot and this larger leaf from Loyal Leaves. Just want to stamp him lightly and see. And then I'm going to pick a color patch that I want to work with. And this one looks good. And that will make for a very interesting leaf. And then I'm going to use the uh, cinnamon cider ink for a couple of the smaller leaves from Rooted in Nature. And again, I'm picking patches of color that look like they'll be, leave me with an interesting blend. Uh, I'm going to call it on my leaf. Let's do this one here. And then I've got one more leaf from Loyal Leaves, and we're going to ink that in the uh, Mary Merlot. And we may do that again and ink that a little more deeply. And let's go over here. Okay, so now we need to uh, cut these out. Now the um, leaves from Rooted in Nature do have dyes, but the Loyal Leaves uh, leaves do not. So I'm going to take just take my paper snips and start and cut these out. It's an easy kind of cut. Lines are fairly straight here. So I'll be back once I've finished cutting. Okay, so we have our bouquet of beautiful leaves here. And we'll set those aside. And I've got my sprig punch and some of the copper foil sheet. And I think we need some copper sprigs to tuck in our leaf bouquet. So, I'm going to punch several. Even though you make it one way one time, you may find you want more the next time, so I like to punch a few extra. Let's set this aside now. And then we need a sentiment for our card. And I've gone ahead and set up my our blended base in my Stamparatus. And... I'm using this sentiment from Rooted in Nature, and I'm going to ink with Versamark. We're going to add a little more metallic to this, so let's give this a good rub to transfer that Versamark onto our background piece. And move this out of the way. And of course, we need to sprinkle with gold stamp and emboss powder. Okay, and then while I'm away, this time using my heat tool to set this, I'm also going to trim this down to card front size. So it's five and a half 
by four and a quarter now and I'll be trimming this down to five and a quarter by four. Okay, so now we've got our thick very vanilla card base and this card base is cut four and a quarter by 11. So, and it folds to a standard size and then we have our blended layer that I've just heat set the embossing on. And let's add dimensionals to the back of this. And you may ask why I used Whisper White for the blending rather than Very Vanilla since I was using a Very Vanilla base. And the reason for doing that is because color shows up a little differently on Very Vanilla than it does on the Whisper White. You can do a fun experiment with that at home and see which one you like better. Oh. There we go. Okay, and then let's straighten this on our grid paper and pop this right down in here. And then I'm going to add my leaves and start with this big one. I'm going to give them a little bit of shape with my fingers and then just add a dimensional where I've curved him up. And then I'm going to glue this down with my multi-purpose glue. And it's going to sit right down here in the corner. And let's make sure we let that hump be a real hump here. So I've got to give a, a second dimensional here to keep that humped up. And then we're going to use this other leaf that we did from um, Loyal Leaves. and put it kind of right over top here. Let's hold that a second so it has a chance to adhere. And then I'm going to take this leaf and bring him out here so that we extend the design along the bottom of the card a little bit. And then the same thing as we come up the side here. And I'm turning my leaves, these um, oval kind of leaves a little bit so that we get some variation in color in this stack that we're doing. So before we get any further, I want to stick in a couple of the copper sprigs that we punched. Okay, my dimensionals are in the way on this one a little bit, so I'm going to lift and help them go in there. And then let's add this one in over here. All right, and then we've got these three small leaves here, and I want to place them first and then add, I've got one more copper sprig that I want to add. Let's trade places here. Again, working with the variations in color so that we make the most of those watercolor leaves that we created. And I'm gonna pop those up with my thumb and tuck that in there. And then it's time to adhere these. So the bottom two are just going to get a little multi-purpose glue along the bottom.
And then let's use some of these mini Stampin' Dimensionals for this last leaf here. And give it just a tiny more dimension on the um, on our leaf bouquet here. Okay, let's move these out of the way. And we'll add just a tiny bit of embellishment. Okay, and to embellish, I'm going to use some of these wonderful gems. And I'm just picking them up with my Take Your Pick tool. I love the name of these wonderful gems. And I love these kind of uh, clear ones that have just a little bit of gold sparkle in them. They are perfect for today's creation. Adding some subtle um, bling. Okay, so I've got four and I want to add a fifth. Um, I'm going to go with one more large one and I think we're going to go up here and there we are um, this thinking of you card with the blended background thanks for stopping by this was Sarah Levin the Artful Inker of theartfulinker.com give this video a thumbs up if you've enjoyed today's card subscribe to my YouTube channel and click the bell if you'd like to be notified the next time I upload a video and if you've got card making friends, by all means share my videos with them. Have a great day. Bye.